Hello and welcome. Uh, hope you've had uh, a nice break, uh, uh, an international break. We want to get back to football, back at Oakwell. Uh, Ryan, great to join me, mate. Cheers, Neil. Um, yeah, <clears throat> international break. Someone might say come at right time or at wrong time. Two away wins, uh, pretty decent away wins, and all when you look when you look on uh, paper, Ryan. Yeah. Getting back to work, well, like we said, we've got two pretty quick fixtures coming up. Starting yeah. with Burton, then the range. I mean, taking into all, you know, Burton from what happened last season. I just see this going. It's is it back to winning ways? Oh well, for us, Ryan. I expect so, yeah, without being too disrespectful to Burton um, at all, you know, because I think they had a fantastic finish to last season. They really did. You know, I think if, if they'd have played anything like that, that the, you know, during the season, they, they'd have been they'd have been well out of trouble. I mean, they managed to get themselves out of trouble, didn't they? So, mm. you know, all respect to them. Um, I think we thought when we went to their place last season, we probably thought we were going to walk over them. Yes, we got a shocking decision now, and I'm ball online. Let's hope that doesn't happen tomorrow. <laughs> Although these referees, hope could happen. Um, but I thought Burton played really well that day. I went to the game and I thought, you know, we we were second best. Um, you know, penalty aside, that penalty decision aside, I thought Burton were a better team. So, but we beat them easily at Oakwell, didn't we? So mm. they've had a tough, tough start to this season. Yeah. Um, I think no two points, no wins, two goals, all two goals in six games. Mm. So you know they'll be looking to chip to. Ch- Turn that around, but realistically, we we should be coming away with three points. I think there and, and and a comfortable win based on previous performances. But as last two all performances have not been great, so I think we definitely need to see a an improvement there. But I, I can definitely see three points for us. Um, for three three it. points. I mean, Jasper Mum be coming up against Barnsley. You know, central defender. I mean, to be fair to the lad, it didn't work out for him at Barnes. I think he got chucked in at the deep end in championship Absolutely. and I think it hurt his career and ruined him and he got loaned out to Burton. And by all accounts, when he got loaned out to Burton, he played all right for him. So he might be, yeah. maybe find a club, you know, uh, all being well, he has a, a shocker and an off day uh, against us. But again, so. yeah. he might want to come and prove a point at Barnes. So that'd be an interesting one. Yeah, On a bar such as like, you know, Jasper Moon at Burton. We've got his own central defensive. I won't say issues now, but we've had some concerns of it past few weeks, haven't we? Yeah. But what I've seen now, obviously Kitchen's gone. What I've seen now, I think it seems to be a bit more uh, unified. Uh, with Shepherd yeah. at back. I don't know what you're taking about is, Ryan. I, I mean, I've I, I've been really pleasantly surprised by both Casper Lopatar and. More, more than anything, really, um, Jack Shepard, his, his ability to jump up all them levels. So, hmm. from from the recruitment team, whoever spotted him and re- and looked at that talent and realised how good he is, you know, bravo. Or how he's gone under radar at Pontic Colliers and, and and not be because he's he's fantastic. So far, he's been he's been really good. The only thing we're missing at back, we've discussed it before, is just that you know that bit more experience. Yes, Jordan Williams is in there. He's been with the club a long time, so. And Conor McCarthy played in uh, trophy over over. Yeah, um, McCarthy's so coming back. McCarthy's got a lot of experience, and he. So we'll see. We'll see how we'll see how we line up, won't we? Um, yeah. uh, on Saturday, <laughs> it's going to take time for more to gel because the, the you know the goalkeeper and the back three have changed mm. completely from last season, and, yeah. and and that were for me were our strongest um, strongest part of the squad were the fact that we were so good in defence. Um, with, with Mads, Bobby Thomas, and um, Liam Kitchen, then obviously Ashley in goal or, or Collins in goal, and we've definitely sorted the goalkeeper one out. So I think Liam Roberts is better than both Eisted and um, <laughs> and uh, Co- uh, uh, Collins. Sorry. So we'll have to see how they get on. Last two games not been too bad. What I will say is about the Cheltenham game, I thought Cheltenham created quite a few chances. Yeah. Um. I don't think it was from really poor defending, but we just we, we did let him create a few chances. Now Liam Roberts not being on his game, we might have been one or two knocked down, might we? Till to before, at half time, so mm-hmm. um, good shout. So good shout. we'll we'll see, won't we? I think Portsmouth is definitely going to be the 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 sterner test on the on Tuesday, mm-hmm. but um, I see good things with this defence, mate. I think I see good things. We still got Kundit to come back. We still got McCarthy to come back. Um, 
I think hopefully that Miles uh, Miles De Gibney will 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 grow into his role. But I don't think yeah. I don't think I don't yeah. think he'll be a, a regular starter. We've got options, aren't we? Yeah, we've yeah, got, got options. options and I, I'm I'm really, really pleased that the you know that, that that Jack Shepard's coming to the side and he's he's just holding his own. He looks he looks great, mate. He looks really he's a tall lad, doesn't he? He looks he looks young, doesn't he? Young, young, doesn't he? He's he massive. He's didn't massive. realize that at all. Well, he, he, got, he should have had a goal at Cheltenham because that was miles over line. That <clears> yeah, was miles over line. Yeah. So so far, I can't fault him. Um, it's still a bit of a worry because it's not the same defense as we had last season. But they certainly look a lot more assured since we since Kitchen were in the team and obviously mm. since it's been sold. So mm. yeah, yeah let's see. it's it's looking more positive. I think the more game time and more minutes for getting no disrespect to such as Burton, but. These kind of teams we can get back confidence in, like I said, Jack, Jack Shepard. But rightly, if I should have been uh, allowed a, a goal and another boost of confidence for that young lad, mm-hmm. you know, you saw Corey O'Keefe, De Givney, um, you know, place to come in from all, all other aspects. Uh, and again, it's, it's starting to look like now we've got kind of strength here, yeah. We've got again, you're looking for that leadership now to that bond, like I said earlier. Yeah. Uh, before we move up to Luca Connell, I'm just going to give a shout out because it's all about socials, uh, Ryan, about a young lad, a, lo- a young Burton Albion fan, season ticket holder, shocking, shocking uh, yeah. news. A 13 year old uh, season ticket holder, I'm just reading his name out here. Uh, and a, 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 so, apologies if I do pronounce it wrong, but Hussein Quig Diop, a 13 year old young season ticket holder, uh, tragically lost his life. In circumstances, I'm not going into, but again, it's been well banded about Ryan. But it's going to be, you know, trying to get everybody for on 13th minute uh, around round of applause. So, again, I urge all Barnley fans and that to join in with Burton Albion because ended the, yeah. the young lad like that, Ryan. And it? it's it's devastating news, that mate. Yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking, mate. Poor lad, you know. And I just feel feel for his family. My my youngest son's just coming up to 13 now, so I, I can't imagine what they're going through. They no. really can't. I can't no. imagine what that poor family are going through. So, I think the very least we can do is stand up and give a minute's applause in, in 13th minute. And hopefully, hopefully, I think, well, as soon as somebody just starts doing it, everyone will join in anyway, won't they? So, you know, I think we can be yeah. united with the with the Burton fans and and give him a little bit of a send off. But like you say, heartfelt condolences go out to his to his family and friends. Yeah, very much so. Uh, and again. Like what Ryan said, Via, um, everybody's uh, respectful, even when it's away or home opposition. They, they, they're joining as well when it's uh, down to us, and and I think everybody, you know, football's community will be united on this uh, to show Absolutely. a bit of respect for thirteen old and give at least a, a minute's applause for young lads. So, uh, yeah, any Burton Albion fans, I've, I've put my message out and I'll spread it for you as well. So, um, you know. It's uh, sad, sad uh, news. Uh, going on to Luca Connell, then Ryan. Uh, yeah. On socials again, it's is is not match fit. He's not in squad. Rumors going about. It looks like it's glandular fever. So I mean, he could be out for months yet, mate. Couldn't he? It Big could loss. be. Yeah. I mean, it, it. We heard that he were getting back into training, didn't we? And then, and then it looks like this week in Chronicle it said he's not training again. So yeah. I mean, it's serious, isn't it? Glandular fever. It makes you really poor. I just really, we're missing him like Maddie's squad. We really are. Mm. Uh, I think John Russell's done really well in that role now, and he's really growing into it now. He's getting more match time. But we really miss Luca's energy. We, and I think, yeah. you know, Neil Collins has alluded to it, not just on field. They, they miss Luca's energy around the around the train, around the squad, and around the training field. Um, and we do miss him. But I just want the lad to get better now. You know, I really feel for him because he's got such a he's such a great talent. Um, and he's got a wonderful career ahead of him, and I, I just, I, you know, I'd hate for this illness to, to, to cripple his career. Um, mm. And I really feel for the lad. I just want to, you know, I just want him to get, you know, get well now, and uh, hopefully we'll see him at some point this season, um, sooner rather than later. But I think the focus is not on, you know, Luca the player. It's more Luca the, per, you know, Luca yeah. the individual and hoping that he gets, hoping that he gets well soon. Yeah, I call that. I mean, he's my favourite player. Um, spots him a few times last season and down to earth kid. Uh, it reminds me, of, and it's weird, I think I've said it before, it reminds me of Adam Ammo. Uh, it's just Scouser, uh, just so happy, so outgoing, time for you. And it's a shame for a kid because 
I thought last season, I thought he had a tremendous season. For best player of the season for me last year. I know yeah. he got young player of the season, but I thought yeah. he was the best player. Um, yeah. I think on the squad that we've got now, we've got some great players in there, but I think Luca's just, he's so, he's, the, the kid's so naturally talented and he's, yeah. just, he's got bundles of energy. He's always trying to do something positive with the ball. He wins it back. You know, he's like he's like he's like a pinball bouncing around a pinball like a pinball machine, and he's boom, 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 mm. boom. He'll get it back, and as soon as he gets it, he's trying to turn it into attack. He's not sideways yeah. He's not. He's looking he's for looking that forward time. pass, and we are missing that. We are missing that, and, and it's such a shame. But like I said, I just want the lad to get well now. Yeah, it's all about his own well-being, isn't it? it like you said, Veer, it's uh, we all want him back as a player, but he's got to get his same rate, and it's his own health what's important. And again, I, I want to rush him back and having him, uh, you know. Let him ever yeah. back was stepping his uh, in his health because it could, you know, potentially put him out longer, and we don't need mm-hmm. that. So, again, uh, Luke Connell, you know, we want him back as a player, of course we do, but and the day we want him to get back to, you know, yeah. his sin. And now, and now we're touting him for a captain uh, to be captain this season as well. That's the kind of player he is. Um, definitely a future captain if he's not captain this season. Yeah, yeah, he's a leader, the leader on field. Yeah, like I said, Veer, they always want it ball, want to get things going and that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, striking options. Obviously, Dallas went out on loan. Ollie Shaw went out on loan. Yeah. Few, well, a few people's eyebrows were raised. Ah, what, well, if I'm being honest about Dallas going out on loan? So, we're going with somebody who went out pretty quick. Uh, but I, I know Neil Collins has turned around and said, look, you might have only been getting 10, 15 minutes game time here. I'd rather yeah. than go out on loan, get more minutes and get, which I kind of get that. but. I had expectation of coming in, but again, you look at the strikers, what's been brought in, Cosgrove, I mean, didn't see that coming, but that's again, a great, that's a great signing, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I, again, it's options like now up front, you're going to go with Devante Cole, people, Absolutely. you know, a bit of my mic, people like love him or hate him, he's flying but you season, can't knock him, it is, he's knocking, he's flying, he's knocking back he's flying, in that, isn't he? Got absolutely got behind. You know, Devante's had an indifferent time, I suppose, when it when, when he come. He come in a very difficult season with different managers in that first season. And uh, listen, nobody played well in that year, <laughs> apart no. from probably Carlton Morris and and <laughs> Mark and the rest of them. No, um, last season he still got 15, 15 16 goals last season, hmm. um, but growing into the role. But this season he's been mustard, mate. And you know, yeah. we're all crying out for this. 20, we need a 20 goal a season striker. He looks fitter for me. He looks yeah, sharper than that, doesn't he? You know, we were all crying out, we need we need a 20, 20, you know, 20 plus, maybe 25 goal a season striker. Mm. Who, who knew we, we could potentially, we, we already had one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just growing into his role, but I can't fault him this year. His work rate is phenomenal. Um, and his finishing's a lot better. His touch is a lot better. His, his work rate's brilliant. I, I'm, I'm really pleased with Vanity. I really am. Um, Would you put that down to John Stead, do you think, as a as a striker, maybe? Potentially, mate, yeah. I mean, potentially, you know, he's been working closely with him, so it, it could be that. Or is it just Devant is maturing, mate? He's maturing as a player and he's getting yeah. he's getting better. Yeah. He's getting, he got a lot more game time last season. You know, he's bounced around from club to club. I think now he's been here, this is his third season with Barnsley. Mm. So, he's you know, he's he's a bit more rooted here now, and he? he's got a bit of stability here. I think I think it might be a mixture of both. Um but he's been fantastic, mate. Six in six. <laughs> can't can't ask, can you, you can't ask for any more than that. That's fantastic form. So De- Devant is obviously starting. Um, and then it's whether we put Sam Cosgrove in or McAtee. Um, well, we'll come to that. I think we'll probably so... see McAtee, mate, I think. Just because Cosgrove's not as much game time. We'll probably see um, Cosgrove come on as, as a sub. I'll come but to we'll that then now, then, Ryan. I mean, it's kind of led into that kind of thing. So... You know, you start in eleven. Would you make any changes? What you know, start in eleven. What would it be, mate? Um, obviously, I'd have Liam Roberts in goal. Um, then back three, it's probably it's going to be Williams again, isn't it? So it's going to be Williams, hmm. Lopatar, and um, Jack Shepherd. Potentially McCarthy if he's fit, but I'm going to go away. I'm going to go with that back three. Hmm. Um, right wing back will be Barry Cotter. Left wing back will be Nicky Cadden. Keep it as is, yeah, yeah. Keep it as is. Midfield: John Russell, um, Irby Kane, and Adam Phillips. Mm. And then up top, um, Devante Cole and McAtee. Probably, so, yeah. That's that's the squad we started with, wasn't it? That's yeah. what we started with yeah. last week. There's another. St- or potentially Styles it to come in. You know, um, 
Yeah, I've been you know, we're going mounted anyway, regardless of, regardless of what's been said, and there, there were quite a few murmurs on uh, on Instagram on his page. I don't think he put anything out of order at all. No, <laughs> it was, yeah. yeah. So the fans started carrying on as if he'd said he wanted to leave. He'd just posted something about doing well with um, with Hungary. But with Hungary, yeah. It, and and I, to, personally, I don't see why some fans were, 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 were making poor comments. For Of all the players that wanted to leave, or were looking to leave, um, in summer, Callum has has been professional to a T. He's not he's still he's not, here, alone. he's not only when he's been when he's been given the performance, he's done it. And Neil Collins says he's been excellent in training as well. So I don't know why. Yeah, he can't have had to some other players giving went him, to giving him an yeah. It's fair. Wanted to go, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah. think listen, all players will want to go at some point, won't yeah. they? If they feel like you know, if they're going to triple or quadruple the wages and they're going to be playing at an high level. Hmm. You know they're going, they're going to want to go. It's the you know it's a hard factor as being in in League One. It is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, of course. But, it is, yeah. Um, and football's a business at the end of the day. So, but we've got Callum now. Well, at least January. Hmm. So why not utilize him? I don't think I don't. Well, we'll see, won't we? I think I think for me, I think it'll be Kane, Phillips, and uh, and John Russell. Yeah, but potentially, um, maybe um, Cal- Styles will come in for. For um, uh, for Herbie Kane, sorry, but I thought Herbie played really well against Cheltenham, so probably not. Mm. Probably not. And then up yeah. top, like I said, Cole and McAtee probably, or, or Cosgrove, but more than likely going to see McAtee. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I think it's going to be keep it as it is, and then you look at options on Ben. So you've got such as like Cosgrove, what you've just said via McCarthy, potentially be on, could be on bench. If, if, you know, rather than start him. Yeah. So again, you start to look at the bench like now, and this is what I always look at me, Ryan, even last season, is that you're looking at your starting eleven, but you also want a pretty decent bench. And no disrespect, in the last few games, the bench has been a bit, where is it going to be a game changer from? Yeah. Now we're starting to be able to get back. We've got options here. We haven't even yeah. mentioned Max Watters, you know, yeah. uh, and again, yeah, of course. Another striking option. You got Cosgrove, you got, got Styles, McCarthy. You know, it, it was starting Aidan Marsh. Yeah, so been got Marsh again. Yeah. Banging yeah. goals in, mate. He's banging goals in. So again, it's it was, he looks it's looking I mean, he more looks positive now. This, he looks sharp this season. Oh, he does, doesn't doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. It, it, when he's been it, on from so, must have been a part of the lad. I want him, I want to see him do awesome because he's you know yeah. I mean? he's got he's got this club running through his veins, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, he got offered an extension contract, but I mean, when when he's been coming off the bench, he's been setting him up, he's been putting us in a danger, he's been running his centre. I'm thinking, is for that extra, you know, 15, 20 minutes when he comes on in his second day, and he's a bit weird and tired, he's coming on and he's, he's running him ragged. And I'm like, it must, it must be a nightmare to deal with because he's back he, again, he's, he's a live wire, isn't he? He's all over yeah. the place. He looks really, yeah. he looks really fit, he looks fast, he looks sharp, he, he looks. And defenders don't like it when you run at him, so just keep on. And, and, and you know, he's scoring for 21s, he's scoring, yeah. he's scoring in, he scored in both games in Cup, so in League oh. Cup game and yeah. in um in the EFL trophy game. He's scored yeah. in both of them for the first team. So again, it's 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 a great another great option. And I think the thing that's really exciting now is after we got off, to, you know, we're all a bit up in air at the start of the season about what we're gonna happen. Mm. Um during the transfer window. But if you remember last season. The first half of the season, we had very limited subs coming oh, yeah. off bench. And t- it yeah. weren't until January till we started made, it, made a couple of signings and got some, you know, got some strength into the squad. Mm. And, and we still did, we still did well. Mm. We still did well. Um, but now we have got those options on bench. Yeah, which we didn't have last season. Earlier, we didn't have, we, we, yeah. you know, we're always looking at bench going right. Who's going to come off now? Who's going to come off and do something? Mm. Mm. But now we are. It, it feels like we have got that option. Yeah. Just a, a quick one, Neil. Just, just. Yeah. What would you think about if because obviously McCarthy, Connor McCarthy is a right centre back, isn't he? Mm-hmm. That's where Williams has been playing. Yeah. So if if they want to put McCarthy in as an actual centre back, and that would then probably push Williams out to right wing back. Mm. Or, or would you prefer at right wing back, Williams or Cotter? I think uh, I think it could be or or oh, oh, you're playing on the day. Because um, it looks like that at minute Williams is the captain, doesn't it? Yeah. So are you gonna sacrifice? It sounds a bit harsh. Sacrifice, like sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> thing. But are you gonna 
drop Cotter to Ed Williams in because he's the captain, or is it going to be on many? And I'd like to think it's many. I like Cotter in that position, but he doesn't track back as much as what I like. And last yeah. couple of games he has done, he's been trying, but sometimes he gets caught up field a bit too easy and he doesn't track back as much. Whereas yeah. you've got Williams, he's got that bit more pace, he does go up and down the line a lot. Um, yeah. But good point. I mean, I would prefer Williams in Veer. I would prefer Me Williams too. in Veer. No disrespect to Cotter, he is a threat, but is it a threat... Too early on, or would you, could you bring him on a second half? That's what I'm for thinking. that, and I, I, I'd do that potentially. I'd do that, mm. um, but again, it's going to be interesting because if Williams is the captain, as it looks like it is at, at the moment, I mean, now it's come out official. I mean, even yeah. in summer, Collins was saying he don't know who's, uh, captain's going to be, uh, Kitchen or Luke Connell, and we never really got any official word on that. Obviously, Kitchen's gone, Luke Connell's out injured, so is it? John Williams of captain, his longest serve of year. Yeah, fine, that's fine. I, I get that. But again, it'd be interesting to see where to go next at a captain's armband after that. Um, but I would go for Williams rather than Cotter. I, 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 me, me too, mate. Cause I, I'm thinking he is a right centre back, McCarthy, and that's mm. his specialist position. Whereas he's not, John's done well there, don't get me wrong, but mm. he's, not, he's, he's not his specialist position. Um, so I think that. It could be a case of um, if they do bring McCarthy back in, that I think Williams will definitely go to right wing back. Mm. Mm. But I don't think Barry Cotter's done anything wrong, but again, he could be an absolute nightmare for defenders. Yeah, but coming on in second half when they're tired, mm. and then you could probably that would probably be a case if instead of taking Williams off, he's dropped Williams back into right centre back and, and and take McCarthy off. But we'll have to see how that pans out, mate. I don't think we'll see McCarthy this weekend. If I'm if if I'm being honest, I think it'll be the same as 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 it has been. Mm. Yeah. I think it's just, just something. It's just something for the future. When you're coming back up to fitness, and he is a specialist centre back, it's good they're going to have a, a decision to make. And I know Keith's going to be somewhere down that line as well at right wing back. Another right wing back, yeah, yeah. I mean, and then you look at centre backs. What we've got then, you've still got Cundy, De Givney. Um, competition yeah. for places, mate. Really, competition for places. Well, long players come in as well, won't they? Yeah. yeah that, so just interesting. Mate. Them long players come in as well. Um, uh, 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 Dudgeon, innit? Uh, really yeah, good, really, really good against Grimsby. I forgot about that. And then there's the Dodgson, the... Kieran Lofthouse. Dodgson, that's it. Dodgson, uh, um, from Jeez, Burnley. And who's the other who's the kid we got from Rotherham? It's, um, it's lying back at McCart. 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 We've got some options here, haven't we? We've got some really, it's really good because there's got, I'd say, what there's going to be competition in training for, for places. There's gonna be no complacency. I forgot about Dodson. But he's more he's more left side. He's, he's left, left he's left side. side he's left he, side, he's, yeah. he's cover for Nicky Cadden, but it's scored in things. So what and again in, and put a really if you're it in, it's gonna be pushing him for starting place, and probably that's what you need, competition. So you don't Absolutely. get that. yeah. That's what I mean. So training will be a lot more. There's been no there'll be no complacency in training. You know, nobody just getting shout that, right? walking, walking, into, that, walking into their team. Yeah, I forgot about that, mate. Good shout on that. <laughs> Wait, yeah. You, you were looking at like centre backs, thinking who's going to play here. Then you, when you're up and it's up, you Jamie McCart, Owen Dodgson, Kieran Lofthouse. I know he had a stint in. Right, with it, yeah. Got some I options there, mate. Twenty ones in it, I think. Yeah, Cody O'Keefe. Wow. Yeah, some options there, mate. Yeah, mm. good, good shout, that. Good shout. Uh, and again, people what's watching, let us know your thoughts and comments about that uh, options and what would you do. So again, going back to the game, Ryan Burton. I mean, score prediction, or would you think will be influential player for us on day? Um, I'm gonna say Devante Cole because I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna bat, I think, I think he's gonna score again. Um, yeah. he's gonna, he's gonna lead front front. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Devante Cole, and I think we win. I think we win three 0 Three 0 yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 3-0. 3-0. Although what I will say, I said this last time on Facebook, I put three 0 as a prediction, and then we got beat two one, and I got absolutely <laughs> hammered by Burton. <laughs> right, put it on Facebook, mate. Right, right, put it on Facebook, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyway, um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna say three 0 mate. I think we'll. I think you know. I think they're struggling. 
we we we're on a good run of form at the moment. We're not we're not mm. we haven't conceded in three games. I think I think we'll we'll I think we'll win quite comfortably on Saturday. Yeah, I mean back to winning ways in the league at home. Uh, I'm going to go three one. I just feel that I check three now to clean sheet all day long, but I think three one I'm going. And I'm gonna go influential player. I'll probably go with Devante Cole again if he can be clinical. Um, mm. I think he will be. If options and bats created via for him. Uh, and again, I'd like to see Jack Shepard have another great game. Which is a surprise. I'm supposing it's going to be starting. But yeah, um, I think it's going to be a balance of win at home. Any Burton fans, you're obviously going to say different. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, 3 1 Barnsley and Devante Cole, mate. So yeah, I'm, I'm going with one back. And then, like I say, another test on Tudor, which we'll do another. another yeah. Call on back. So I can stay and test that one because Portsmouth are playing well as well. You know, they're a, yeah. good, they're, a good, they're a good side. It's never an easy game. So we'll... Fair trek for him in midweek and all, isn't it? That one. Yeah, fair yeah. trek. Yeah. yeah. They brought a few. They were, it was a midweek one last time, wasn't it? And I think they brought yeah. about 1200, didn't they? Something like that. Yeah, they did well. They brought a fair amount. So full credit to them, like. Um, but yeah, back to back to league, back to proper football now, isn't league. Oh, can't wait. Uh, Ages of the break. No, it really seems that youngs on it. So yeah. you just get football season starts and all of a sudden you have like this. Oh, and that's it, 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 it breaks me. It's one of the great things about being in league one. Yeah, there aren't that many, but there's one of the great things about being in league one is that we don't do international break and then we went and got done. Mind yeah. you, there are only two. There are only two games in all league, weren't there? So they yeah, but what? Well, not surprising. No. Still managed to find some football somewhere. Yeah, we'll be able to do it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, any Burton fans, uh, safe travels. And again, 13th minute, we'll be around with applause uh, from our section as well, as well as obviously Burton. Please like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments below. Let us know your score predictions, your influential player, your team selection. Do you think anybody will be uh, coming in a different... Ryan, as always, it's been a pleasure, mate, uh, yeah, to talk to you. Get your thoughts and uh, uh, debate and some stuff as well. We started selection, even more so on defence. So something else to think about now. Uh, yeah, safe journey, safe travels. Enjoy the game. Uh, but all being well, come I was going to say five o'clock, depending on how much injury chance I did on. But come full time, uh, bounce coming away with three points. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>